A serial rape suspect behind bars tonight in Tulsa. Now at five, who police say he targeted and the investigation that led to his arrest. Good evening, I'm Karen Larson. Mike is live at our Friday Night Live Game of the Week. We'll check in with him in just a few minutes. First at 5, Tulsa Police announcing they have arrested a 19-year-old man in connection to a series of sexual assaults. Detectives say Brandon Bills now faces seven charges related to three attacks on women in East Tulsa. 2 News Oklahoma reporter Jeanette Quesada is live in the area right now with the events that led to the suspect's arrest. Jeanette? Today, TPD revealed what they say happened to three women in East Tulsa. Brandon Bills is in jail tonight, facing charges of rape, attempted rape, burglary, and forcible sodomy. Police say the 19-year-old suspect was involved in three sexual assaults. They say they all happened within an area near 41st and 129th East Avenue. Two of them at the Polo Club Apartments and one at the Alexis Park Apartments. Investigators say they got the first report on August 21st when patrol officers responded to a sexual assault. The victim reported that she was asleep in her apartment and woke up to an individual standing over her, uh, held her down by her face and began ripping her clothes off. They say the suspect also stole items from the victim. Kind of hard to imagine the, the terror waking up and having someone over you that does that. A second victim came forward September 20th. In that instance, um, less than a stone's throw away from the first incident, we had a victim that was walking into her apartment, was grabbed from behind and dragged to the floor. Uh, at that point, the suspect held her down and tried to rip her clothing off. Police say she managed to fight the suspect until he ran away. Three days later, police got a third report. We had another report of a suspect that walked into a victim's residence. Again, she was asleep in her house. She woke up to a suspect standing over her. He grabbed her by the throat, held her down, and attempted to tear her clothing off. Uh, again, this victim fought back. She screamed, kicked, and that suspect stole some items and fled that residence. Investigators say all the victims were Hispanic women. They say surveillance was key in tracking down the suspect. And police say there may be other victims who have not come forward out of concerns relating to the stigma associated with sexual assault or out of fear relating to their citizenship status. Now, coming up at uh, six o'clock, we spoke with the victim victim uh, center, um, victim witness center, and I will share with you what they had to say about the process that many of these sexual assault vi victims have to go through. Live in East Tulsa, Jeanette Quesada, 2 News, Oklahoma.